Matt Sura. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite things to talk about. And I have a real pleasure to be with Yuto Matt Sura here at Jim Toff in Japan. Yes, the birthplace of Matt Sura for this world renowned high precision five axis pallet change system. We're going to talk with two world premieres today. Yes, two world premieres. And with that being said, you can see the background around us right now. We're going to talk a little bit with Yuto about the history of Matt Sura, and we're going to talk a little bit with David Hudson over here, who's in charge of North America for Matt Sura, and what the differences are between each of these beautiful yellow pieces here. So, Yuto, my friend, thank you so much for having us, and let's talk about since 1935 and what you're doing here at Gym Talk. Our foundation was in 1935, and we've been trying to step ahead of others. So we've been an engineering company, but we've always tried to be new. So in 1991, uh, the first bomb was 72, which is five access and march pilot uh, system. And we released the first bomb 72 series. And at that time, of course, it, it was like uh, too new for everyone, nobody. Actually, it's not so popular that time, but now the time is catching up, and Mamu Semitu is still like our major best-selling machine. And I always, uh, the first gym was happening in 1960, if I remember correctly. So it means this is the 60th anniversary year, and Matsura always attended, uh, never missed their attending gym stuff. Of course, the first time we were there, and uh, this is a. Uh, Last time in 2018, it was so. This is the last. This is the first time in the last four years, and I'm very. It's very excited. I'm very excited to show because so you said world premiere, two world premieres. Jim Tof is always a new technology, and I'm excited to exhibit and explain the new models we have here. Let's talk about these yellow blocks we have over here, David. What do they represent, and is this how customers make decisions based on which Matt Sherr machine they want? Yeah, when a customer is trying to make a decision on what machine they're going to purchase, or the work envelope is certainly a big, a big part of that. Whether it's one big part that they want to put in the machine, or maybe they want to nest, say, three parts together, they need to be able to fit that in. So some of the models that we weren't able to have on display, we brought the work envelope so that the customer can see all the variety of sizes that are offered. At the end of the day, it's really just how big is my workpiece? And we've learned now, right, David, that it's about how many, how many parts we can machine in that one area as we're doing quick change systems with multiple vices on that piece. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Usually, usually now, if someone's trying to get a little bit bigger, it's probably to fit in one extra part in uh, that nested situation. But um, yeah, these, these work envelopes, as they get a little bit bigger, the machine footprint might be a little bit bigger. Matsura is always focused on trying to maximize use of floor space, right, or minimize the, floor, the footprint of the machine uh, to be uh, efficient in floor space usage. So, you know, that's part of the thing, too. You don't want to buy too big of a machine. In, in five-axis machines, it's important you buy the right size machine, both because of interference and reach inside the work uh, area, uh, but also just to maximize the utilization of your floor space in your shop. As David said, it's our machine is for really focused on lights out. And of course, you cover the many Matsuda users, and they like Matsuda because of the reliable automation. So that's our main focus. And the five axis is also because process integration and the high mix low volume. We have a good, very like strong point in this you know, solution. And that's kind of what we did. And we always kept improving our function by listening to our customers. So we've done many, many like market research in everywhere in the world, North America, Europe, of course, in Japan. And we've collected all the valuable information so that we can put it on our newest development. And what we are going to show today is basically the uh, great function based on our customers' voice feedback. And that's what we really want to show today. So without any further ado, let's go take a look at this new technology, world premiere. Welcome to the first world premiere. Oh my gosh, MAM 72-42V. I'm with my buddy, David Hudson. Well, we know the focus is going to be on this software, but first for the audience, let's just quickly go over 
pallet change system, precision, automation, a massive amount of tool options with the tool carousel that you have. Quickly, let's go over those things. The things I know, like you know, at the back of your hand, right? Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> um, so this is the latest addition to the MAM series. And I have to admit, I saw this machine for the first time last night. Here That's what show. a world premiere will bring you, right? right. So, but like the rest of the MAM series, uh, you're talking about a large tool matrix, so 330 tools up to 530 tools. This machine comes standard with uh, 32 pallets. Uh, but this new machine, the 42V, is based off of our most popular, longest running uh, MAM series machines, the 35V. Uh, the work envelope inside the machine is 420 millimeters, but then it tapers down with some restriction at the top to 350 millimeters. The pallet changer for a 35V accepts the uninterrupted 350 millimeter work envelope, that cylinder, it always has all these years, for 30 years. So what customers were asking for, as Yuto said, customer request was, could you build the pallet changer larger so that it could accept the full 420 millimeter work envelope of the machine? So that's what they've done here. The MAM 72 42V can pallet change 420 millimeter work envelope. I love when companies like Matt Sarah listen to the customers, but that's not the only thing you guys have done here. You have some advanced software that you've brought into this machine right. as well, haven't you? Yes, so this is a brand new uh, Matsura operating system. It's the first time in 10 years that we've completely revamped it from the ground up. And so you're going to see that this, the screen, physically the screen's the same size, but the information on the screen um, now occupies the entire screen. It used to be a little bit smaller, so it's larger, but it's also, we've done the same thing, listen to what customers requested, and so request, customers basically requested more ease of use, right? A more efficient system. Um, and so they give us over the years all kinds of um, little ideas. And so they've now taken all of those, incorporated them into one big up, update of the operating system. These adaptations and listening to your customers is extremely important, isn't it? Yeah, it really is important. And I really appreciate working for Matt Sora, a company that listens to the customers. That's, that's a key to our success. So what the customers wanted was a more intuitive, uh, you know, everything is becoming more graphically friendly, right? to the touch screen now, it's just uh, more intuitive, more friendly, easier to understand, and more efficient. Now with this new system, we actually have a project that we assign to a pallet, or to a pallet face. And inside of that project, you have the program, tool offsets, photographs of the, of the part, and you have the instructions to the operator how to run the part. So now you have a project, you can have up to a thousand projects. In fact, you'll be able to move those projects in between machines so that all the data necessary could be moved from one machine to another. And this is this part of the uninterrupted machining that you've discussed right. with me yeah. previously? Would you mind describing uninterrupted machining? To, we know autonomous, we know lights out. What is uninterrupted? Because now you're including many facets of what's internally happening in the machine to bring it all together for the customer. What we have now are many features that have been made easier to use or that have been developed to be able to make sure that when you leave this machine, and you have a, a pallet schedule set that it ensures that you have all the tool life that you need, the right amount of tools, uh, everything down to making sure that the coolant, that there's enough coolant in the machine, that it has the right concentration. These are all the things that you need for uninterrupted unmanned machining. Very clever. So with that being said, the same machine you all know and love, the precision, the accuracy, the reliability, and the history since 1935, now with updated software, 10 years in the making. Now let's go head over to Yuto and take a look at this other world premiere machine. All right, now we have the second world premiere, and I'm back with my friend Yuto. So we're going to talk about what's different about the upgraded machine, and I think it really goes back to the fact that they are just listening to your concerns and thoughts with one of their most popular machines to continually adapt to what you want. Is that what we're thinking, Yuto? Yes, exactly. So the MX330 PC10, we raised this machine in 2017. Actually, we added the PC10, MX330 was already there. And it's been our best selling machine since then. And uh, of course, we shipped many machines so far. And uh, we listened to the actual Matsuda user, I mean, MX330 PC10 user. What is your concern? What, we can, what can we improve to, like, uh, for better ease of use? And uh, the answer is very simple, so mainly two. So better thermal com displacement compensation and better chip management. So we did it with this upgrade. So that's basically why we did this upgrade and the difference. So some people would say, 
It's our most popular. We don't need to change anything. We're just going to leave it. But you guys want to continue to adapt to your customer. And two, if it is your best-selling machine, which it is, it gives you the broadest market research to really figure out what your customers want. So in using that thought process, that's quite clever of you guys here at Matt Sura to make sure that they're taken care of. Because we have a very loyal customers who love Matsuda products and they are very smart people. They do lights out, they make a profit in a very effective way using our machine. So their opinion is very valuable for us. We are always developing our new technology based on our customers' opinions. It, it's, every time it works well. So that's why we, we listen to their opinions carefully and we pick, of course, you know, we select the best uh, function we can put it on and that's what it is. Well, Yuto, I'm going to give you the opportunity to give a closing statement to the audience as we close out this video. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, guys, 1935, 1991 was the start of the pallet chain system, the first in the industry to do it. Think about that when you're investing in whatever machine that you're moving into for the next generation, for the next 10, 20, 30 years of your company, knowing there's a history and a reliability in that Yuto, I hope I've given you enough time to think about that final message that you want to say to the audience. Okay, so final message would be, please buy machine. <laughs> but also, of course, okay, this is serious. So, <laughs> so MX330 P10 and Mamo 7235B, these two are our top, our best-selling machines. And as David said, we had a, we now we have a very new user interface screen. It is designed for ease of use. So I want your feedback, you know, so that we can improve more. And uh, this, is, this, must, this is very special because we never update two top best-selling machines at the same time. And we have a, the very first, uh, we have a very first yeah, user interface in the last 10 years. So this timing is very special. So please buy a machine. And if you have feedback, I'm more than happy to listen. Thank you so much.